hello guys welcome to today's video by trust and lee this is another ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to create a custom url for your facebook group yeah if you have a facebook group and you want to make use of a custom url so that people can easily open your facebook group with a unique url um they can easily memorize it you can easily share the link with them and you can easily give them the link so that they can easily find your group on facebook this is just all you need to do. Now go ahead and click on the group icon. Wait for it to load. And now click on the group you manage. Just about any group you manage. I'm going to select the main tier tech and show you guys what I mean by Facebook URL. Okay, finish loading. Now, if you notice on top of this area where it has facebook.com, this is the group URL. If I copy these um, numbers like this, I can easily search for the group on Facebook. Let me show you guys. I can easily search for the number on Facebook. I can easily share this exact number for people and people can um, search for me on Facebook. When I give people this number, if I copy this number and share it to people, they can easily find me on Facebook, making use of that number. If they can't um, memorize my probably they can memorize my name or my group name. They can easily find me making use of these unique numbers, which is actually um, the extension of my Facebook group. Now, if I paste that particular number, you should be able to find me. And easily people can easily use this particular number to find any group on Facebook by using facebook.com forward slash and then adding some other information. But for some reason, it's not displaying because that particular group is not a public group. It's actually a private group. Usually, when you search this particular number, you should be able to see the people. And also, when you click on the group icon, the group should be able to display right there. But for some reason, it's not showing. But let me go ahead and show you guys how to make use of this particular URL, how to create a unique URL for your Facebook group. Now, I'm going to change. When I change the URL, this particular number is going to change. And also, um, you notice I didn't find it on the search, right? Now, if I go ahead and enter facebook.com and then um, add a forward slash and then put that same URL that I just searched and then enter. Sorry, it's not complete. That should be forward slash groups. But anyway, it's opening. So once you hit enter, it should open the exact group that we are actually trying to locate and the internet is a bit slow so there you go this is the group that i actually want to show you guys so whenever people type facebook.com forward slash the unique number you send to them they should be able to display and see your facebook group because that particular unique number is actually your group url but because people cannot easily memorize these numbers i'm going to show you guys how to edit and change this particular number so that people will be able to locate and find you. Now go ahead and click on the badge icon right here to display the settings on the left. But if you already have all this information on the left, that's fine. That is what I want to show you guys. Then scroll right down to the bottom area. You can notice where it has settings. Click on the settings option or link for it to open our settings area and then wait for it to load. All right, the settings have loaded up. Now, you scroll down to where it says customize your group. You can notice where it says web URL, right? Now, you notice it says the URL of the group, um, the web address of the group is web.facebook.com forward slash groups and then forward slash for it and then some other unique numbers in front of them. Now, to edit this particular group name, all you need to do is to click on this pencil icon right there. And then you notice it has... Um, the same number the same web url the same web address you saw initially now click on this area to enter the unique web address you want to make use of now i'm going to make use of ts now note guys a particular rule in creating this stuff you don't need to add um you don't need to add space but you can add these special numbers you can't add special number or space on it you can only add um alphabets on it so i'm going to add ts tech and then group and also guys everything we have to be in small number in small letter or alphabet so once you are done adding them go ahead and hit save but if this url is already existing you cannot 
you cannot be able to change it. And also, you can notice it says once your group has reached five thousand, um, five thousand members. Once your group have reached five thousand members, you will not be able to customize this URL or this address again. Now you notice this URL. Now let me go ahead and copy this URL and then open this URL, um, this web address. Type in facebook.com forward slash. I'm going to paste that URL and then I'm going to hit enter. And then let's wait for it. Okay, the group did not open. That is because there is a mistake. And actually, it's supposed to have group extension on it. And I did not add group. It's supposed to have group like this. And then forward slash. I mean, hit enter. Wait for it. There seems to be a problem because it did not open. I think actually I made a mistake right there. It's supposed to be groups. There is supposed to be S right there. So wait for it. And then there you go. So you can notice now the URL have already changed. Now the URL for the group is facebook.com forward slash groups and then forward slash tstech.group. So that is all for today's video. You can easily change any group, customize them. As long as you don't have up to 5,000 K subscribers, I mean, it's 5,000 K um, group members on that particular group as of the moment you are changing the group URL. But if you already have a um, maximum of 500 K, you will no longer be able to change this. But anytime I want, I can always come right there and then tweak the name however I want and then go ahead and click save. But for some reason, I think I'm okay with this URL. So I'm going to leave this for now. And I hope this is helpful. If it's helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video. And leave a comment if you have any question. I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Peace.